Hello, everybody. How are you? Hold on, let me fix the camera a little bit. Um, so today, as you can see in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys just the different things that I have. Um, camera-wise, things that I've kind of gotten throughout the years of like YouTube and doing photography and stuff like that, like different lenses and adapters and stuff like that, so I can show you guys, and I wanted to do it in a more depping style of like a haul, but an ASMR camera haul, so hopefully you guys enjoy, hopefully you guys are having a good night, I know I'm going to be uploading this towards the night because um, I just tend to to look for ASMR in the night because that's what I use to go to sleep. So I thought that would be the best time to upload this. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. <laughs> and let's get started. So the first, the first thing I wanted to show you guys uh, is actually a tripod, something that I use for vlogging all the time, and I spray painted it. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, if you guys don't watch the vlog channel, it's linked in the description below. But um, I spray painted it so it can like be one of a kind. The inside is all like spray painted and all that. It's really cool, I think. Um, but most of it is actually faded out, um, but I use this with the G7X that I have on a tripod right here, right now. Um, If you 
you guys are wondering, um, I don't have a like ASMR mic. I know a lot of ASMR artists use the 3DO. But I'm just using my um, shotgun mic right now. And I think that works great. So if you guys want to do ASMR, I think either way you could do it. Um, I'm not using the most professional setup. But I'm making it work. So that's for all you aspiring ASM artists out there. Um, I'm just starting out myself. This is my second ASMR video. And I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs>
know if I like that sound too much, so I might have just cut that out. Just like, 
as she groaned. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but um, it was really hard to get used to not being able to zoom in. So like it's a fixed focus. And you could only focus. I mean it's a fixed zoom. And you could only focus it. Um, so the dis you have to kind of get far away from whatever you're shooting to be able to get a good shot. And uh, it gives you a lot of that blurry effect that everybody likes. Like, I love that effect, personally. Actually, for a little while, I was thinking about filming all my YouTube videos. With this lens. Because it was just, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it looks so good. But, um, I'm still thinking about it. Because it would take like, I have to get really far away from my camera, and my camera doesn't have autofocus. This one does, but this one doesn't. Um, so I would need to like fix my focus, and it would just be like, it would just be too far away for me to see if I was really in focus. Um, sometimes I have that problem even with the regular lens. I'll shoot a whole video, a whole sit down video, and then go into editing just to find out that I was slightly out of focus. And that kind of bugs me because I don't know, I just like, I like to be in focus. Like this, I have no problem with because I know the G7X will keep me in focus at all times. It's pretty sick. Also, all the stuff that was mentioned here is in the link.